This star is so isolated, it's cut off from the rest of the galaxy. Meet CX-330, one of the most secluded young stars in the middle of nowhere, far from any other star or planet. Astronomers still aren't sure how it got there, and the story only gets crazier as we dive deeper. Join us on this cosmic journey to discover the most isolated star in the universe. So, what exactly is CX-330? It's a star located about 30,000 light-years away from Earth, deep within our Milky Way galaxy. But here's the twist. It's not just any star. This one sits alone in a region where stars aren't supposed to be born, far from the bustling star factories we're used to seeing. Most stars form in regions filled with gas, dust, and other stars, cosmic cities that are crowded and active. But CX-330 is out in a barren stretch of space, like a lighthouse in the middle of a desert. It's located far from the galactic plane, where the majority of stars in the Milky Way reside. This suggests that stars might be able to form in isolation under the right conditions, conditions we still don't fully understand. The discovery of CX-330 wasn't just an accidental finding. Back in 2016, astronomers using the Chandra X-ray Observatory spotted something unusual, a bright, energetic source in an area where nothing should be happening. At first, scientists weren't even sure what they were looking at. Could it be a distant galaxy, a black hole, or something else entirely? But as more observations came in, it became clear that this was a star, a quirky star for sure. The discovery was both exciting and puzzling. How could a star so bright and active be sitting out there all by itself, far from the usual star-forming regions? CX-330 is surprisingly bright, especially given its isolated location. The star is also in a rapid growth phase, something we usually see in much younger stars, typically found in dense star-forming regions. CX-330 is throwing off an unusual amount of energy, particularly in the form of X-rays. This behavior is more typical of stars that are still gathering material from their surroundings, growing in size and mass. But the big question remains, what is it feeding on out there in the middle of nowhere? Another strange feature is its variability. CX-330 has been observed to flare up dramatically, indicating it's in an extremely active phase. This kind of intense activity isn't what you'd expect from a star that seems to be so isolated from the usual gas clouds that fuel star formation. CX-330 appears to be in a protostar phase, a period when a young star is still gathering material from its surroundings and hasn't yet fully ignited into the stable, burning phase we see in more mature stars. During this phase, a protostar actively pulls in gas and dust from whatever material it can find nearby. As this material falls onto the star, it releases a tremendous amount of energy, causing the star to flare up in brightness. This process, known as accretion, is the reason CX-330 is so luminous right now. But you might wonder, where is all this gas and dust coming from, especially in such a remote region? That's part of the mystery. Even though CX-330 is far from the usual star-forming regions, there must be some remaining pockets of material nearby, perhaps remnants from the star's formation or a very thin, sparse cloud of gas that the star is slowly consuming. As CX-330 continues to pull in this material, it rapidly gains mass and energy. This accretion process causes it to fluctuate in brightness, sometimes dimming as material temporarily blocks its light, and other times flaring up as more material falls onto its surface. CX-330's intense brightness and rapid growth are signs of a star in the midst of a critical, turbulent phase of its life. It's a star still hungry for more, even as it sits alone in the darkness, challenging everything we thought we knew about how stars grow and evolve. Exploring the universe and understanding the vast mysteries of space has always been a passion of mine. Recently, I've been working on building better learning habits to dive deeper into these topics. That's where Imprint comes in. They're sponsoring this video and they've been a game changer for me. Imprint is the best way to learn quickly, effectively, and interactively. Thanks to Imprint, I've been able to replace a few minutes of mindless scrolling with fascinating insights from the world's greatest thinkers. Imprint offers a unique learning experience that's beautifully illustrated and animated, making complex topics easy to grasp. They use science-based methods to ensure you not only understand, but retain what you learn. 
Imagine mastering big concepts in just a few minutes each day. One of my favorite courses on imprint is Essential Philosophy, Theories and Thinkers with Professor John Cog. It's incredible how much you can learn about the foundational ideas and great thinkers that have shaped our understanding of the world. Plus, with their expansive content library, you can explore topics like science, technology, finance, and even the science of happiness. There's something for everyone, whether you're curious about the universe or just want to be more productive in your daily life. Imprint is also award-winning and popular. They've been named Google's App of the Year and an essential education app by Apple, with millions of users and over 30,000 five-star reviews on the App Store and Google Play. And the best part? You can try everything Imprint has to offer for free for a full seven days. How did this star end up in such a lonely part of the galaxy? There are a few intriguing theories, but no definitive answers yet. One of the leading theories is that CX-330 could be a rogue star, one that was ejected from a star-forming region. This kind of event can happen in several different ways. For example, imagine CX-330 as part of a binary star system, orbiting closely with a companion star. If another massive object, like a nearby star or even a black hole, passed too close to this system, it could have gravitationally slingshotted CX-330 out of its original environment, sending it flying into deep space. In this scenario, CX-330 would have been flung away from its birthplace at high speeds, eventually coming to rest in the isolated region where we find it today. Rogue stars like this are known to exist, but what makes CX-330 unique is its continued growth and brightness, which suggests it's still in an active phase despite its isolation. Another possibility is that CX-330 formed in its current location from a small, isolated cloud of gas and dust that somehow managed to survive in the far reaches of the galaxy. While most star formation happens in large, dense molecular clouds packed with material, it's possible for smaller, more diffuse clouds to exist in isolation. If CX-330 formed from such a cloud, it would be an extremely rare and unusual event, challenging our understanding of where and how stars can be born. There's also the idea that CX-330 could be a relic from the early days of the galaxy's formation. Back then, the Milky Way was a much different place, less structured, with gas clouds and stars forming in places we wouldn't expect today. If CX-330 is indeed a remnant from that era, it could have simply stayed in its isolated region as the rest of the galaxy evolved around it, leaving it stranded far from any other stars. Each of these scenarios is plausible, but none are confirmed. The truth is, CX-330's journey to isolation remains one of the great mysteries of modern astronomy. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey, Tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.